You know what? I do. I, I want Minerva to go bankrupt now. For all the f***ing bullshit it's been putting me through. F***ing like three months of bullshit doing nothing. Alright, this week we're up 4.11% for total profit of $2,508. So, we all know what we want to take a look at. And you can tell I'm cheating. I'm recording on a Sunday. This is because you can tell that the Tesla stock has done the 5 to 1 split. Currently sitting at $443. Uh, I just asked my group on TikTok what I think is going to happen Monday afternoon. I've gotten... One person said uh, they think it's going to be a $1,000 stock tomorrow afternoon, which I think is a little high. Uh, I've had some others say it's going to be down to like the $300 range. So we'll see. There's a lot of speculation about what's going to happen tomorrow with the Tesla stock. A lot of them do seem to think that Tuesday is going to be the day that it really runs up. So we'll see. All right. Over the past week, Tesla's up 4%. Total profit, oh, total profit $18. But you have to remember, this is... Yeah, it's kind of skewed. It's it's kind of weird. I'm sure Tesla, you know, so $18 times five, whatever that is, that's how much it was before the split. Anyways, all in all, we're up uh, 458% for total profit of $36,000, making up the majority of my um, portfolio, not by choice. I didn't choose it this way. Tesla chose me. All right, Microsoft this week up 6%. That's That's really good. Uh, total profit of uh, $2,000, up 52% overall. Not bad. AMD. AMD is up 1%. That's not like AMD. AMD is usually up like 100% every week. Wow, total profit of 66%. That's crazy. I remember I bought AMD at a freaking all-time high. And look at that. It's... 0.1% of my portfolio. That's, it needs to be more than that. I don't, freaking AMD. All right, moving on to Apple, which also did a little split splat, uh, down 2.5% over the past week. We're looking at a total profit of $410, which is not crazy, but you know, hey, that's almost a new PlayStation 5. Uh, up 69%. Now, now I have eight shares. And you know what? For one hundred and twenty-five dollars, I, I might I might get two more and just do the, the even ten. Get ten shares of Apple. We'll see. Moving on to Facebook, up eight point three nine percent. And I remember I, I I sold half of my Facebook shares because I thought it had the least amount of potential growth short term when compared to my other growth stocks. And when that's true, when you compare it to Tesla and and Apple. It's not true when compared to Microsoft. So I, I kind of half regret selling some of my Facebook shares. I don't remember what I was doing. I, I think I, I needed some extra cash to put somewhere. Oh, I think that's what I put into Workhorse. Uh, Workhorse and SPCE, I put my Facebook profits, which those are more like long-term. You know, I don't expect to make a, a lot of money off of uh, Facebook, not Facebook, Workhorse or SPCE this year. Uh, but I think over the long-term, those two stocks do have the potential to outperform uh, Facebook uh, as far as uh, growth by percentage. Let's see, overall I'm up 45%. That's really good. 45% total profit of $462. Hey, you know, you put Facebook and Apple together, that's a PlayStation 5. Workhorse, speaking of which, up 1.98%. Uh, overall, I'm up 0.21% for a total profit of $1.43. That is, that's a snack from the vending machine. SPCE this week is up 2.5%. Overall, it looks like I'm down 4.75% for a total loss of 69.69. NVIDIA this week up 2%, total profit of 31%. $125, that's crazy. I bought NVIDIA at an all-time high when it was $400. Why is it 500 now? But I, I, I don't know. I just, I can't explain it. I was, how do you? Some stocks I just don't understand. And I know you should not invest in a stock if you don't understand it, but I mean, I just don't understand how they're up so much. I mean, look at Tesla. I mean, I'm one of the biggest Tesla bulls out there, but even I can't, 
understand why it's up almost a thousand percent this year. Let's take a look. This year, 912%. Speaking of things I don't understand, it's down less than a percent. Past three months, I'm assuming it's done. What has it done? It's up. How is it up 59% over the past three months? Yeah, I don't get it. I don't know. I'm down 19% to the loss of, we'll say, $80. It's fine. I mean, you know what? I do. I, I want Minerva to go bankrupt now. For the f***ing bullshit that has been putting me through. F***ing like three months of bullshit doing nothing just go bankrupt already that's what i actually desire in my heart is for minerva to just go bankrupt so i can just check this off my portfolio and say nope i'm not no longer an owner of minerva fucking n-e-r-v all right moving on to the reits NLA is up 2.18 percent over the past week total profit of uh 278 dollars up 16.63 overall well, it's 3% of my portfolio. Hmm. I want I want Analyt to be like 5% of my portfolio, maybe even 10%. It's such a good stock. Dividend yield of 13.11%. It's beautiful. I have no complaints with Analy. Moving on to MFA, up 4.46%. That's not a bad move. I'm up 20%, total profit of $385. Uh, I believe next month, or by the time you're watching this, maybe it's this month. Uh, we're getting those dividends, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Realty income is up 3.31%, total profit of $159, up 21%. And if you've been watching this, you know that there's one REIT missing, and that's STAG. What had happened was I sold all of my shares of STAG because it has completely recovered. You know, I bought STAG. At an average price of $24, it was right here. I made th Okay, so what was I saying? I, I just got a call. So, I bought at $24, made a 30-something percent profit, and then I used that money to buy... What, what did I buy with that money? I, don't, I bought something with that money. Who knows? But I did something with that money. MITT this week is up 1.42%. And I've kind of made up my mind that when this goes back to breaking even, I'm, I'm down 11% right now. When it breaks even, that's it. I'm, I'm through with MITT. It's been taking me to too many ups and downs. And emotionally, I, I'm just not in a place where I can handle that right now. You know, it's MITT, you're up and you're down, you're wrong when it's right. It's you're hot and you're cold, whatever the lyrics are. That's MITT for me. So I'm through with it. WMC, I don't even know. WMC, wow, you're actually up 5.3%. Overall, I'm still down 38% for total loss of $44. That's not so bad. At least it only makes up 0.11% or 0.11% of my portfolio. That's fine. And SPHD over the past week is up 1.5%. Total loss of $20. That's 3.46%. All right, so for the week, we're up 4.11%. 4 why, why is it red then? Shouldn't that be green? Why is Robinhood backwards? I'm, I'm up. I don't know why the chart is... Let me refresh this page. Why is it red? Anyways... All right, over the past week, I'm up 4.11%. Over the past month, I'm up 32%. Still red for some reason. Over the past year, I'm up 189%. And all in all, I'm up 190% for a total profit of $41,638.65. So, all we gotta do now is stay above that $60,000 range, which I mean, who knows? Like, let's see, in the past month, I'm up $15,000. So, so that means that I could easily be down $15,000 next month, right? So we can't say we've won too early because it, you, know, you, you never know what's going to happen. It's the stock market. Anything could happen. Anyways, with that, I wrap up this week's video. If you liked it or got any useful information from it, please hit the thumbs up button to help the channel. And if you want to see where we end up this year on this account, come back and watch my other videos or consider subscribing. And there is one last thing. 
I designed a couple of fun shirts relating to the stock market, like this one that says, this is bull. And it's true because it's a, it's a bull market chart thing. So if you like it or want to see the other designs that I have, check out the link down below for my Etsy shop. And again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.